Hello, hello, and welcome. We're back again after as I punched my microphone. And these headphones just ain't working out for me. There we go. Back again with some, uh, back again. This is, uh, I'm a bit flustered, I'm not going to lie. I have had a day and a half. As you can tell, I'm on here on Wednesday. Wednesday's not my normal day for this. So, we, uh, we're already off with that. But, I really want to start this game, so we're going to start. Um... If you're interested in this, I have my social medias down here. I have the TikTok, the Instagram, and the Twitter. But maybe you don't like typing. I get it. Well, if you look in the chat right now, you can find my uh, link tree with all of my links in it. But, let's say we, uh... Man, my hat is crooked as all hell. Let's say we go ahead and get started, because I am running behind. We're playing, we're just going to start up a new game of Red Dead Redemption. As you can tell, I thematically dressed for it. Ah, yes, the Morning Star. Satan's your very own riverboat. When you want to get somewhere, ride the Morning Star. This, this is probably one of my favorite games. Like, I know I say that a lot because I, I like things. I want to like things. But, Red Dead Redemption is literally one of my favorites. Like, the story of it, the way it's presented, all of it's just so well done. Like, and also, so, I have this game for both the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. I'm currently playing the 360 version on an Xbox One. It looks so much better. Whatever voodoo they do for upscaling works so well for this, for like the 360 games. Because playing this on like my PS3, it does not look this good. I obviously couldn't play this on 360 because the stupid HDMI thing, but I might have that solved thanks to, thanks to um, another streamer, Private Mini Beats. They might have, uh, they sent me a link to a capture or a uh, splitter that might help with that problem. Assuming my capture card works. I, for one, am grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing um, civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my hmm. dear. My dear. Interesting looking character behind us, old lady. Please, looking down on us. Please, how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. But today, my uh. I reset my computer like I normally do before I start. Do you mean unless an innocent receives you know, communion, they're destined to go to hell? Because uh, I had a I had a stream what where I like it wanted to drop you, every frame. That there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. And I never thought of it that way. My Elgato yes, just did like not want to get picked up by my computer. Oh. I unplugged it, replugged it, like it was just like unknown USB device. This seems like an unknown USB device. I had to restart again, apparently. Cars, father, but I heard Which is great. Soon, we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. 
No, no, apparently people that, can fly. Didn't you hear? The Alex priest is so like even got a car to fly. <laughs> I hardly think so. Showed them like dismissive of her. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor, which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. This There's intro does a great job of setting up that came like, what, here after the like war. the tone of the game and the well, world I don't period. want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently, the John's family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy. And it's great because, like, those women are talking about, like, the world as it's becoming what you must at this time. My dear, is that we have been brought here to spread and, the word. And, like, the conversation is going on here. And you just have so many things They going are the for same it. thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other. And who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, mm. Mrs. Bush. Armadillo. Ah, yes, Armadillo. <coughs> As always, the first thing you do when you get in town is go to the saloon. Now, I want to see what... So, I play a lot of Red Dead 2 lately... I'm currently working on, you know, a 100% run. You good, bro? But this game has far more lax controls. Oh, thanks for the lurk, Dapper. I Hopefully your day's going well. And thank you. I hope my street goes Sometimes. well as well. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to gag you. But as hey, always, thank you for the lurking. Please thank you to anybody who's lurking. I always I appreciate it. Y'all are wonderful. Follow Jake to the horses. Now, admittedly, this game does start kind of slow. In retrospect, in retrospect, far less slow than uh, the second one, but. Easy on the spurs now. We don't need to draw undue attention. Use left stick to move your horse. Which, I wonder how much this is going to screw me up. Because the horse riding, I feel like, um, the horse riding, I feel like, is so dramatically different in the second one. So it's Lord Mercy you want to visit? That's right. Ain't okay, taking so nobody the up to the fort in a long time. Strange place for a decent fella to want to visit. But yeah, like, the horse ride is so different in the thing. first one. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned When galloping, you can get a short burst of speed by tapping A. This will temporarily reduce your horse's stamina if you spend too much. Your horse may try to buck you off. Sure. Horse's stamina is represented by a bar to the left of your radar. Maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. So what are you doing up at the I feel like the horse is running for an old friend. Well, like I said... You ain't gonna find many Maybe it's those two. Parts I've been, like I said, I've been you do playing a lot too, so I'll talk a little bit about it. Back to you. <laughs> um, I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the, the horse I'm on in two but, is in well, Arabia. Yeah, I've been and for a long just seems so much smaller. Time. 
So like the these horses look massive. Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I'll tell you what I though. Ain't on for a game that came out in well, 2010. Well, for some female Ooh, man, company, just you can do good. a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Thieves Landing. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking like, it, it man to hold up with. I'm game. a married like, look man, at that I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> okay, so left, left trigger yeah. pulled down your gun. So it was the marshal who hired me. Not focused Lee Johnson, things. do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guy. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. They do a great job of setting up the character differences in this. Of course, this John Marsden is as close as the John Marsden you'll see. You ain't very really talkative, are you? Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. And I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things it you better very off not much knowing. like this is a different person. Like it's same actor, same. I'll tell you, writer. Mr. Marston, those coyotes eat better than I do. <laughs> Not far now, Mr. Marston. The fort's just over this hill. But yeah, like the character growth in this feels good. Like hey. the difference between John Marston Listen, and this versus John Marston this here too left a fort, Marston. feels like Some somebody. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> that dude is weird. Approach Fort Mercer. Come on. Although I will say, this is one of the dumbest, uh, dumbest bits of this game. Like, this whole, like, it makes sense, but, like, John doesn't handle the situation properly. You'll see what I mean. Bill! Bill, I've come for you! Although I do love Bill the uh, back and forth they have here. Come out here right now! Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. <laughs> you were as my brother. That ain't fair, Bill. We Come all thought you were an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, do I look like I need saving? Like, I do want to know what John's plan was here. Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> Did you, you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. I love me. the way he says that. You always were one for fancy words. I <laughs> also really enjoy how gross uh, everybody looks. Well, things are different now, John. Oh, shit. Two months. Now I'm in charge. Thanks for the resub. I appreciate it. How, no more how are you doing today? And no more. How did your stream go earlier? Implored. I, I implores you. To go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well, howdy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what was John's plan here? Poor John. John Marsden, this complete rocket surgeon, just tried to draw down on a fort. A fort specifically made. To repel people trying to draw down on it. 
Sure, towns are always big enough for more than two people. If it wasn't that, it would be, you know, a cottage in the woods, which is weird. But how you doing? How was your stream earlier? Real quick, let me give you a shout out while there's a lull in this. No, not stream elements, phone. A uh, little Mac be crazy, bro. Scrapping. KO punch. Boom! Some smash and some Zelda. What Zelda did you? Oh my god, a shield break? Did that happen right as I went boom? Did his shield break? Shield break sounds like a thing. Oh shit! So it would seem. So how do you? I think literally right as I went boom, his shield broke. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. Wait. What were you doing? Yeah, if uh, you're looking for somebody who's oh, fun, so entertaining, well, and just okay. a decent person, Once you didn't die, the doctor go said follow them. Fine. Always an entertaining time. I unfortunately, you know, we were talking about this earlier. You know, with sorry, work man. stuff and my bad cell she signal and the time you happen to go Did live. You die? I unfortunately, I mean, most of the time, wind up listening to audio only or, or, you know, with the worst in the like county, not having enough cell signal to actually watch. Mr. Uh, Marston. But every time Bonnie I've tuned Marston. in, they've been entertaining. Bonnie McFarland. Miss Bonnie McFarland. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. So what were you well, which doing? Zelda were you playing? Just trying to give. I was Mr. just talking Williams to somebody the other day about uh, for old time move, going back to uh, Breath you know of the Wild. Williamson? Knew him. Cause I never finished that. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, Miss. <laughs> Ooh, Wind Waker. I never Seems played Wind Waker. I have. I I actually missed out on all of like the classic and, Zeldas. Uh, what will you do now? <laughs> Wanted to play classic. Now, Understandable. Take my time and go after him the I, uh, best kind way. Well, that sounds. I think the last fun, Zelda I Marston. played was like Link to Quite the Past, heroic. the original like, like in those penny SNES one. Used to read. Meanwhile, if Aside from, excuse me, I've got a ranch. To I course, for when I the N sixty four came out and later, like GameCube, Zelda wasn't the kind of game like I wanted to play. Of course. So I kind of missed out on all those, and now it's so far past the point where like I'm behind the eight ball. Next time. Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. Like, I played the NES Zelda a bunch, and I played the uh, SNES Zelda. I played a bunch of both of those. But, like, Wind Waker, uh, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, I never played any of those. I have to go join Bonnie. I've been playing a lot of third-person games where you have to click the stick to run. And here it does sneak. So we're going to keep a running tally of how many times I accidentally sneak. That's one. Also, why is he banned just outside of his clothing? Like, I get... Like, is that a thing to just kind of indicate, like, hey, this person's been injured? Is that like a video game shorthand? Because they do this shit in Resident Evil 2 as well. Mr. Marston! Back in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's just, about time I started paying we back just spoke, that fifteen dollars. I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. Actually, I ought to program, uh, program in doing uh, Majora's Mask or Wind Waker, or, um, Ocarina of Time on a Sunday. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws, such as yourself. I'm happy enough with like, my current quarters right now, Mr. I'll program them for a Sunday and give it a try and see how I like them. Hop on up. He won't bite. Come on, then. I'll show you around the property. Uh, that was the most inefficient way to get on a horse, Sean. Nope. That is the wrong button I didn't mean to hit. Like, this is one of those games that's just, like, really nicely ponderous. I will say a lot of the Bonnie missions you won't find Parisian do get kind of old but it's real good quick. For the essentials. Yeah, I mean, Very convenient. like I, I was saying I've a moment ago, a for a 10-year-old game, this looks pretty good still. 
Like, and granted, I'm playing it slightly upscaled on an Xbox One. And here's the corral. Uh, on the this 360 the version. What do you think? I'm no expert, but, but like, it, it certainly looks like a looks fine corral. Looks really nice. I suspect you've stolen more horses. Especially than comparatively, broken. uh, I have now, this. Like I was saying earlier, idea? I had this for the PS3 First impressions as well. Are hard to erase. And I was playing it on the PS3 right before I got the 360 version. And that's the train station. Things sure have like, changed. Like it looks since legitimately the line finally got like. Bringing in all sorts of here new folk like yourself. Whoa. Is that such a bad thing? The hell are you Pain doing, horse? It's only good when it makes things better. The horse is getting a little squirrely now and again. Like if you get far enough away from somebody while you're auto following them, your horse will just kind of start hauling gas away, which is fun. That's the um, barn over there. Paul built it himself makes horse riding when a bit I was more just difficult. a little girl. I'm surprised I haven't like eaten it into a tree yet, to be honest. And here we are, back at the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. <laughs> Come on, this is the only chance you're gonna get to rest. God damn, Bonnie. And your weird groucho pants. Like I do I do like Oh, I forgot about that. How I forgot about the rock star, like, walk into somebody and knock them over Getting thing. Getting shot, then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Now, I will say, the Bonnie parts of this game are slow. Like, most definitely, Mr. they are slow. Mr. McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with John wakes up immediately and other undesirables? Garden. I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's Something's head out. Just saying, the country I don't is really beautiful at around this time. Hmm. But I like to... They do little subtle things moving. to, like, this show you that John is still sharp. And I like that. Whoa, what the hell are you doing? Oh, and the thing I was talking about is this, where you can just kind of walk Whoa. into people, and they hilariously fall over. My horse is trying to grind that rail. Things are going wrong. I'm not going to bounty on her Keep ass. Keep your eyes open and try not to get yourself shot. Everything's here. going great. Got a new gun. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. Why? Like, what are you worried I about? I feel a lot happier now. I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. Like this, these are all the tutorial levels. Like, in, that's one of my big criticisms of both this and the second one. I don't they believe both it. Those damn slow. rabbits are back. Give me a hand with them, will you? Let's see that rifle. I want a couple of these for the pop. That's it. Kill those little varmints. Well, the lock one doesn't work as well as this one. That rabbits didn't stand a chance. Funny, they're rabbits. It's not a. It's not like they were shooting back. Speaking of which, have y'all seen the? Uh, Let's get going. We've still got plenty like of ground to cover. Like the stills and um, and like the trailers for that game, Squirrel with a Gun. That shit looks wild. If it's not the rustler stealing our cattle, it's the rabbit stealing our crops. Like it ain't I don't. Never easy living off the land like I don't this. know what Maybe what you, you have to do in that game. City. I don't know what the gameplay is. I don't know leisure. if there's a story. All I've been told is squirrel Look with out. a gun. Like come on, squirrel with a gun sounds like he's like goat simulator. Goat simulator level of like. Let's go. Stupid animal. Good shoot, Mr. Martin. You handled yourself well. I thought we were going to be chickens for sure. There we go. Yeah. Let's go.
but yeah, like, uh, that shit looks you know, crazy, and I'm excited to try it. It's something I've had a little Although I didn't get, I don't yeah. get Maybe super Williamson into, like, the weird games. Luck like, didn't really um, come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around oh, the ranch, it, that's uh, for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. Not Goat we'll Simulator, do whatever the other we one that was real, like, you. goofy and ragdolly. I sure appreciate I can't think that, what it is, but like, I don't get super into those games because I think they're kind of fun, like, the first time you play it and then it kind of wears off. This is you, Mr. Marston. Thank you, Bonnie. I guess Bonnie ain't come to need me home. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep hmm. and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarlane. And then the home mechanic, which I'm... I'm not, like... Rockstar loves putting this in games where you have, like, a home base in every game. Like, because this is very much like a Rockstar game. Like, this is Grand Theft Horse in all reality. But your home always gives you a little bit of ammo. Let you change your clothes, which I only have a couple outfits. Because, you know, clean shave file. But, like, the gambler suit. Or the gentleman's attire. To then, like, to unlock other outfits, you have to do things. Um, shirts, shirts, coots, sapple. Complete the twin rock side out. Capture, kill, mo van bar. Win a duel in armor, in, uh, armadillo, and complete American Appetite Stranger Task. You do all that things, you unlock the outfits, fairly straightforward. There's a bunch of outfits, they're all tied to different mission stuff or story progression stuff. Um, it's kind of lackluster in terms of the outfit stuff in the first game. There isn't a ton of it. Um, we're going to save over my old save file. I'm committing to this. So, like, you can't really, like, do too much. And then you, like, you have a money system and a time system. Certain things will only happen between certain hours. You know, you have your full-blown map. Which, it's a decent-sized world you're, you have. You know... You can go all the way to Mexico. Like, it's neat. You can check your weapons. See how much ammo you have for them and whatnot. Uh, the outfit's the same screen, you just can't... You can't actually change them. Journals just give you different information on stuff you're doing. Gluten challenges, which... Are a thing, and then... You know, stats. Which I always love Rockstar games for this, where they give you stats. And they'll, like, tell you the most weird information they can. Like, total vi total distance lassoed victim dragged. Like, gang hideouts cleared. Like, I love that they just give you a ton of random information. You have your mission logs, uh, challenges, strangers crimes like the the game that's two the game gives you a bunch of stuff though like a bunch of stuff to like look at and interact with it's for the best it gives you a very full experience you know and like none of the gameplay in this is overly difficult um a lot of it's very Rockstar gameplay loop, which is go oh, to a place, Mr. shoot Marston. some people, come back. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. But it's entertaining. How are you? It's fun. Well, I'm fine. Thank you know. You. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Good. Switching these around uh, helps. Come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that That's Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, Miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? Got my I certainly little, don't mind you asking if you don't mind me. Put on my little cowboy outfit. 
See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only will I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply I, out of respect for you. One thing that I really of like course, about the Mr. way that Marston. they made John Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself he is very likes to have some exotic secrets. So us country like. folk are impressed. Also, looking at John Marston. <laughs> no city man, miss. What says yeah, city folk about I saw you get on him? the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. Like, they they do a great job with, like, the way John Marston speaks. You know? All right, I'll show you how we ride around these Which, parts. Honestly, I think it's going to be missing from future Rockstar games. The main writer of a yeah, lot of yeah. these games was Dan Hauser. For better or worse, it was Dan Hauser. And he is no longer with Rockstar. He's the person who On wrote the, count of three. the GTA three, games, two, Red Dead games, Bully, one, all that. Go. I'm fairly sure. I trust you're not going to be a gentleman about this. Oh, you don't know me at all, Mr. Farland. So the horse racing is actually pretty easy, which is just burn all your stamina until you get a decent lead. When you feel your controller vibrate, just hold the button for a little bit to let your yeah. stamina refill. Follow me! Or you just run completely off the road like I just Isn't this jolly? Because you're used to. Let's yeah. go with the bumping, Bonnie. Oh, shit, what? Try to keep up, will you? Bonnie, I'm like right behind. Yeah. And I reiterate my previous point. Oh, keep easy. up the shit I'm going to shoot your Try to stay with me now! Come on, boy! Let's pick up the pace! Yeah! I say the horse racing is easy, and I do dog shit at it. Oh god, I thought I was gonna fall off that cliff. Which is real easy to do. Yeah. It's real easy to just Come do on, running Mr. through, Marston. and then all of a sudden, you fall again. Or worse, just your horse. I'm turning, horse. See you at the finish line! Neck and neck, Miss McFarland! Come on! You still think you're gonna win this, don't you? Let's go, Miss McFarland! I'm like... The steering on this is atrocious. How you doing, Lord, back there? How bad it was. Go. Like I'm like you trying like me to, to slow down. Trying to not just like completely biff it. I bet you're starting to regret your brave words, Miss McFarland. Which, in all reality, it's easy. Come on. Should I wait for you to catch up? Like. Are you saving the best for last? and go there for a minute, but we did. Where, where was my horse going? <laughs> that was fun. Sure. That was not you fun, know, Bonnie. You should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could Perhaps help you I deal shall. with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. Ah, uh, yes. I'm slightly more famous for beating Bonnie in a race only I, only Bonnie and I were in. And was solely on her property. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Miss McFarland. How are you? I'm well. 
Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't oh, do for a no. terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> take the driver's seat. Come on. So this is one of those things that I apps. So I don't think I'm recording. Oh no. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. The tech problem. I have you to think of that, miss. So just tell me, have me. you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss. I have not. Oh, dog well, or that's coyote really. or wolf. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't I think bet that's on dog. it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay yeah, sane, like to the, be frank. What about you? Have you ever given the wagon up driving together? In this and the hope other hasn't one. really entered into like, it. It's not part. really something I think about. These a wagons peculiar outlook. Shit. I can't really say I understand you. Because I've never driven a horse on a wagon. Oh, don't be so deliberately yeah. enigmatic. Also, I'm not, miss. Not yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure. I didn't know there were like for having a horse wagon competitions. I just know there are two theories to arguing thing? with women, and neither one I went one to the uh, New York State Fair. I'm not even year. going to dignify that gibberish with a response. Which is a friend of mine. He calls fair folks, and we wanted those. So we made it like a, you know, a little weekend trip. And... I think it's kind of funny I found you dying on the side of the road and now you're driving me into town. You like, have a strange we sense of humor. Well, you must admit, oh, it's shit. an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. If you don't mind, can we please return to the road? Funny, oh, there please. are a bunch of people. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williams and his business, I'm trying to but do I don't on my know. You've been talking. good to us and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some Great. kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like I generally Paul like to have says, uh, don't go wake my own snake. recording of it. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, but Mr. Farland. I really do. Like I don't and get that. if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. Like, the travel in this game isn't bad. But it is the kind of thing where it, like, really makes you, you never did tell me like, where you live. And, like, I have a small hole in up in Great Plains. And farmer? they are all these like yeah. wilderness. And I'm the queen kinda, of England. Like, and at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me. So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Right now uncle. Well, he's game. not my uncle. As far as I know, just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard on a I hot day. Let me go Got a fella laboring under the delusion that age brings wisdom. Uh, sounds like the perfect person to leave in charge of your entire livelihood. We go way back, and I didn't have a lot of choice. I'd be getting back there if I was you. That's I mean, what I'm trying to do, miss. Will it let me go all the way up the beach or something? Or get your chariot out of my way. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. Oh really? It's not Manhattan body? Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. <laughs> Dr. Johnson. The first one I'm is on child. Me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life. So be If it ain't one thing, it's another. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. We'll run over and do this real quick, which... I like that, how it forces that little, like, dumb step. How would Armadillo get by without me? Howdy, friend. Finally come to yes, I'll have the free medicine. Leg. Go talk to Bonnie. Well, All right, Bonnie, I got the medicine. Thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. 
Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Bonnie, what makes Travel you think I have stagecoach this? money? Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. Also, John, I like how John just has the biggest knife you can really imaginable just open on his hip. If you want to leave armor, then what are you usually stake stagecoaches? So this is our first like little town kind of setting. You know. There are people about you can go into the stores. You know, there's the doctor, the gunsmith, the general store, and the uh, saloon. Occasionally there will be like events happening around where stuff is going on and you can interact with them. There's a uh, movie house up here where you can actually go and, you know, watch a movie. There's poker over in the saloon. It like fills out things nicely. You can steal a horse. Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> Shame, bro. Shut up, you. Now, what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did? Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You that one of them Williamson boys? Calm down. Like how John has no, his gun on him before he even him. gets to it. What, you, you getting keep with me, boy? What's going also, on here? The gun isn't normal. I got me one of them Williamson boys. That's one of them add-on things in the way to turn it off for real Marshall's stupid. Bad name. It has to be done oh, every no. time. And Put I'm not dealing down. with it. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Marshall Johnson's oh, like a year high the most western -y western in. character <laughs> that could have I think westered. there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Like oh, between the facial hair and the cigarello. <laughs> What are you like doing here, pistols. Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to and like capture ice cold, or cool kill attitude. Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Just imagine of course, a time Bill Williamson and his where boys have tended you could commit a crime. Away from my town. And go like three and a half miles so in one direction. It's no there. longer I happy, anybody's problem. I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. <laughs> Whole world has problems, mister. And I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. So, like, everything right. is awful. Tell you what. Everything is terrible in Armadillo. <sighs> 
Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Oh, wow. Okay, boy. Like, John's vest has, like, texture to it, like denim texture. You're persistent, little cuss, huh. ain't you? Only when things matter. I mean, I also feel like, like, John's playing everything kind of so close to the way. vest. But, like, I feel like he might be able to get a little bit more sympathy. He's like, hey. So who are we looking for? The people who sent me here are holding my family. Led by this fella called Walt. Goddamn road agent. Prey on the stage is coming in and out of town. Drivers in armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins. These Although days. I do like how they made one walking animation for most of the characters in that No. But the way I they are in lockstep. Better to carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. I like how the uh, gangs in this are a lot like super villain henchmen. Let's follow them. Where they all Let's have a similar holy cross into. He's clearly a member of the Walton gang because he's wearing a giant top hat. We need a game. Let's go, Marston. I've been after that son of a bitch for months. Damn, he's seen it. Come on, don't lose him. Get on my horse. Come on. Yeah. How did he see us already? Probably me walking out. Well, it's as bad as you say he is. Why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't beef how the law now. works. Is Ooh, that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still. I got made fun of the other Doesn't day. Doesn't sound like he's a man I'm to be reasoned with. I like a lot of A few of days of my hospitality, and he'll be telling me what I need to know. And Walt's gang's been growing fast. I was easy kind money of for easy work. Pantyhose. Jola Springs, Gap Tooth Ridge. And I called them These boys get around. The other day. Walton's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from. And I definitely referred to ten dollars as a salt bar. And it's like I like one day I look forward to using slang that isn't a hundred years old. Whoa! Come on! Looks like he's holed up at the old Pleasant's house. Let's the hold up and house. find a spot for our horses. That sounds like some Scooby Doo shit. I will say I'm not gonna miss. Looks like we got company, boys. I'm not gonna miss from two to one in all of its complicated Damn. systems. Take cover. Having to pull my weapons off the horse every time I get off. We'll work our way up this hill. This is the cover mechanic. Move up to that wagon on your right. I'll cover you. There's one behind the crate. Take him down. Oh, shoot! Now move up to that crate. I'll cover you, I love that little slide they do. What can I say, partner? Now get to that rock. I'll shoot you some space. Get to that rock. Now, there's one behind me out now. Come on. I got Take cover behind the outhouse. Careful, there may be more of them. You're about to meet your maker, and I doubt he's too happy with you. I love how he'll do it. <laughs> Like, this is not, like, on-the-ground cover, this is... Now, this one bothers me because there really isn't a great, like, take-him-alive way. Like, you have to, like, literally, like, make a conscious effort to shoot him in, like, the leg or the arm. Not a bad shot, Mr. Marston. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. He's a character I'm a little upset didn't show up anywhere in RDR2. Like, I'm surprised. Like, he might be in the online. I have no idea I didn't play the online. 
because, you know, online games are awful. Wait, 20 whole dollars for that. Alright, let me loot this body. Okay, I guess I cannot... I guess I cannot loot that body. So, one of the big... What the fuck are you? There's also them trying to teach you the uh, fast travel. I forgot that there's no, like, compendium of animals in this game. The music has gotten real catchy. But I also don't think that guy's trying to shoot at me. It's another pretty bird I don't need to shoot. Just bird feathers are just bird feathers in this. There's not really a crafting mechanic. Like, this is far less involved than two. Like, all of, the, all of your game systems are simplified. Skinning animals gives you resources. Thanks, game. So, what the game wants me to do right now is set up a campfire and fast travel. Pretty much anytime you're out in the wilderness, you can set up a camp and do all your basic home stuff. Save, fast travel, all that. Change your outfit. We're going to fast travel to the McFarlane Ranch. And that's like the other main way you'll be traversing the world if you're playing this. Um, there's only but so many ways to do it. But get you right back to where you need to be. Let's go. And you can go do a stupid Bonnie mission and be mad about it. Also, if you charge headlong with your horse into a mission, you'll usually get something like that to stop you. Which looks cool. Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is I had two, and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that, I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. <sighs> call like, me Bonnie. I like how they set the scene up. And you're going to hear Ms. a lot McFarlane? of I like this. Because I'm married. I do. I enjoy this game. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. They did not give John much in the way no, of shoulder. I don't suppose any of this is He's very kind of interesting to off. you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. But he never saw his homeland. Like the scene starts with John it, trying to speak. You'd imagine he you only know, ever had to later find out like ducks. And, and he Bob hated the English for what they had done to his great grandparents that he'd never met. And People don't forget. Then John Nothing gets forget. frank with her That's and, true. you know, Especially lets when it her comes to in. Money. And you know, even now, after I think it all his labors, really works. my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. 
His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute, and he was her, well, I don't, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read, taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man, in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left. I tried to leave. I feel like that's a part of this that a lot of people forget or don't killer. really do all I think too much well. on. Kill it's right in the title. This is a redemption so story. Man may do his part to cut crime this is a story about, a rich man you know, elected governor on the back of these John Marsden trying to atone for the sins of his past. Civilization is a truly beautiful past. thing, Mr. Marsden. And find redemption. Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> and here comes sure. the worst mechanic in, in the this right fucking direction. game. In a game of many... I love that. Like... In a game of many mechanics, this is by far the worst. Right. Are you ready to learn how to herd some cows? <sighs> yeah. Bonnie, why are you running into me? Bonnie, get on your goddamn horse. Thank get you for telling me off. all that back there. It must have been hard for By you. By the way, I hope you understand now why I've been playing my what are we gonna call somewhere close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. I've begun earning the they're, loyalty of him. They're lucky to have a man her. like you. I don't actually know. I ain't know. so sure about that, but thank you. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, like, what are we gonna call the horse? Let me know the names you suggest. Good to see you, Miss McFarland. Move into now. position behind the herd. This is the, the worst. Like Whoa, the there. the cattle herding missions are the worst. He's got it. Stay behind them, Mr. Marston. Nice job, Mr. Marston. Keep them moving. Get that. Right. Get go! Come on! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Move it up! And move! God, move! Why are these cows doing? Them. Them this way. Let's move here, my four-legged friends! So yeah, you essentially just have to Come on. keep Stay together, you dumb herding animals. the cattle into the same area by getting Come behind on. them and shouting. And they'll get spooked, they'll run off, they'll separate from the herd. And you, Let's like, go. supposedly, like, you can weave behind them, but, like, I've never actually seen it work. Get a move on! Like, it's, it's not a good mechanic. And here, now they're gonna add more cattle. Keep going, Mr. Boston! Alright, let's move this large herd out to the far pasture! I mean... We have to. Can't they just stay here? Come on! Forward! Like... Wait back and forth who, behind them! Keep them nice and tight! Who... Like, Let's who go. at Rockstar? Go. I want to know who. I want names. Um... Decided that this was a good thing to put in the Western action game. He's just showing like, up now. Watch for the runner. Stand now, Mr. Boston! This isn't fun. You're it isn't well thought out. Herd. It Racing isn't interesting. Might be your true calling, Mr. Marston. Either that, or you were a cow in a past life. Thank you, Miss McFarland. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch. Come on. But now we've this moved on to the fuck them cows yeah. portion of that. I'm hoping to get the bunny tree mostly done today. Because they're kind of the least interesting, like, missions. 
so hopefully we can get them done out of the way. Come back after 6 p.m. today. Well, what time is it? It is 10 minutes to 6, Bonnie. Well, let's go check out the general store. I at least have a feather to sell. Well, hello there. Well, hello there. I right, said two different NPCs. Sure well, hello there. Right well, we can sell some feathers. Brady, Apparently that was a songbird I shot. And you can get things like... Uh, this map displays all town, settlement, landmark, and hideouts. And allows fast travel. Those are generally pretty helpful, but they're, I don't consider them to be like immediate purses kind of stuff. This is just for, like, if you're looking for plants, ammo is pretty self-explanatory. And then these are the interesting ones. The horse uh, deeds. Because if your horse dies, you can use those deeds to summon a new horse. And then we have uh, jobs. I'll cover those later. But you can do a bunch of those, like, earn extra cash. Like in, like in real life. You can do jobs well, hello, Mr. to make Marston. money. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarlane. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Nice to meet you, Please. Mr. Mustache. I mean, McFarlane. So, I think so big it should have its own area that. code. You're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. And we had outlaws, and we had drought. Smallpox, terrible winters, cholera. Ah, yes, the cholera. I'm very more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiven sun. That whole herd of cattle just take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government, Sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson That's right. He's is that a kind of a fella. And men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. And you're always <laughs> going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. Once again, sneaking around and spying. What about John? Says preposterous. Like Trust me, city sir. slicker. I agree with you. Easterner, like. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie. We got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? Not it's particularly. It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come Ooh. on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> <laughs> like, I I actually really like the horse breaking in. You're gonna need this, this Mr. Game. Marston. I like it so much more than I like it in two. Let's see if we can put that new lasso of yours to good use. That ranch hand said there's Which, by the way, the lasso, super useful. Yeah. Sir, can you can you not Whoa. like bump me off my goddamn horse? You sure have some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret who sent you. Well, is he wrong? 
I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches would steal a coin off a dead man's eye. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy the ride? I know we're only as free as they say we are. Power's like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. And there's few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country Bonnie's a woman very can much do much better if you ask like me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. The child of somebody who's talking about politics is like, I don't, don't know. No, we don't. Can we not? And I get it. There's the horses. Get that lasso ready. Rope one. Bring him down together. Whoa. Keep a hold of him now. Keep steady. So, this is just Whoa. a balancing. Well, I'm I'm now. That's it. Now like, hold on, dude. As Come the on. horse tries Let's to go. buck you, you uh, Let's see it, boy. You got his rock the stick back and forth. Oh, oh, shit. Keep that Come on, and it's now, really boy. not hard. Like, but it becomes also like the easiest way to earn money in the game. And like if you find the horse, it seems really good. Good work! I'm impressed, Martha. Let me take you from here. You get back on your own horse. Hit me with your horse. I think that's enough activity for an old timer like me. I'll take this one back to the ranch. See you later. Come on then! Let's see if you can get another one. Come on! We haven't got all day! Let me grab another horse. Right, quick. Keep a good hold on him! Right, let's see if Get you can play this one! You got this! But yeah, no, Come this on, is baby. like a super Calm easy mini game. Like... It is not. It is not. Come a on! Game. Come on! Come on! But there will be places That's where it. you can do a job where you this just don't feel too good. breaking, and it takes like a minute to do. Easy. Like the hardest part is getting. Come on. Like after you lasso, on, getting to it before it will try to fuck you. You're a regular Bronco Buster, see boy. Nice work. I think that'll do it for today. Let's get back to the ranch. Meanwhile, my horse is trying to run the fuck away from me. Whoa there. I like your father. I'm glad. He's quite a character. You have a good life here. The life I want. For me and my family, I mean. We don't have a lot anymore. You have enough. It's one that gets so many folks in trouble. It'll sap your spirit and make you poor. But it's straight. And it's decent. There's no better night's sleep. And after an honest day's work. It's no wonder you I look mean, so tired then. Some deck must be shy of Joker, Miss McFarland. Well done, Mr. Marston. These are fine horses. These are fine horses. Hey, Bonnie. Amos was saying some horses been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. Imagine, like... Like, well, let me go out Come and on, get Mr. some Marshall. horses, I guess. Let's head for and it's just like, I got a rope. I can. You never did tell me why you were never married. Like, aside from the snobbery, let me that go is. Take, you sure asked let, let me go take some I'm horses from the wild that's and all. sell them. You must have been quite them. a catch. The fact that you're talking in the past says it all. No, <laughs> that's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors. That's all I'm saying. Sell them, I suppose. Here and there. I do like well, how they touch the this like, ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countryfied. Where'd you get your I do like how they touch races, this Miss McFarland? From a couple like of cheap like, governesses, yeah. Paul Hart, and Davis the for being savages. The been, I'd like to talk about more than like just cattle spinster. and chickens sometimes, that's all. And after my brother left, it was up to me to become the man of the ranch. He never admitted, but my paw's a lot yeah. frailer than he looked. You're worth Bonnie wears a brown man, shirt in this family. I'll try to take that as a compliment. In this family? These family? I fucked that all up. In many ways, my wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. You don't talk about her very much. It 
It's kind of painful. Go free my hair and ain't too loud to come murder us all. There's my boys. Come on, Mr. Marston. Now, short of your, like this game, it doesn't really matter too much changing your horses. Let's They're all fairly the similar stats as long as like you we'll get a decent enough there. horse. But this horse that you get at the end of this mission, pretty much the best. Like you can play the whole game comfortably with this horse. Also, the music in this is top shelf. Which is Mars like Stay with the reasonably uh I'll give you a signal when we're ready really for them. I, right you are, miss. I'm not mistaken. Oh. Am I supposed to be like Horses are easier to uh, herd. Keep it They're just, they don't want to be anywhere near you. Move, let's go. No stopping, let's go. Forward. Come. He's like aiming for the circle right now. Let's move here, my four-legged friends. Move it up. Being difficult now. I, I've lost control of the herd. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Get a move on. Oh no. Yeah. I've this is going to This horse is fast. The stallion is fast. Come on. I got it. Oh, I thought it was just not gonna be back in for a second. Because it looks like my uh, lasso glitched for a moment. Easy. I got you now. Come on. It's okay. Nearly there. We got him. I think we got him. I don't.
Thanks for your help today, I Mr. Marston. I thought that was going to take off. We got some fine horses. Some you fine know, horses. Why don't you keep that stallion as your own, as a thank you from all of us? Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal. <laughs> So I guess now, now we'll play the game of what should I name the horse? Let's go! And if you get a new horse, there's a surefire, like, easy way to, uh... This is another fun thing. You'll just come upon like There's much treasure and beat here. things you out in the world. Map? I retire. Here, take map. This one's you a good one. It. I'll happily take this off your hands, my friend. Because it's a treasure. Like, you can use that map he just gave you to find treasure. Okay, yeah, you go to your journal and it'll... But we're gonna ride out to, uh... Towards the marshal here. Because, uh... To save a horse... You have to, uh... Hitch it at a hitching post. And that'll save it for, you know... As you are horse. Your horse. So, like, if you break a new horse and you want to keep it best way to make sure you keep it is to, you know, find a hitching coach and hitch it. There we go. Now, every time I whistle and whatnot, that will, this horse is the one that'll come. And this is a good horse, it's a uh, Kentucky Saddler, which is one of the better horses in the game. We're going to fast travel. Just like I said, I want to get all the Bonnie stuff done today. Or as much of the Bonnie stuff as I can done today. Save real quick. Saving, uh, by the way, will advance your game six hours. Like, it'll jump it forward. I like how I'm right outside Armadillo, and it's like, do you want to fast travel to Armadillo? No. Armadillo's like right there. Go. But yeah, like now it has my saddle on it and all. I think this is the worst one. This is, yeah, this is the shittier. Come on, uh, come on, let's go! Get him in there! Come on, come this is the one I wanted to get out of the way. Hey, miss, I got most of the horses secure and the chicken. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know, they're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're gonna die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. But John does a good job there of, like, Martin, not, hurry. like, aspiring to fall down. Come on. He's like, needs to get done. That sky don't look good. I'm starting to think somebody up there is conspiring against me. Are you a religious man? Not in any real sense. Sometimes I tell myself things happen for a reason. Like what brought me here was fate come a calling. But nobody made my path for me. We all need to look for answers somewhere. Some in big old books, others in big old bottles of whiskey. Believing in some kind of divine purpose ain't gonna give me my wife and kid back. Pastor's who we are, Miss McFarland. There ain't no changing that. 
Faith is a luxury I can't afford. We have two herds out grazing in different pastures. We'll need to merge them and bring them all back. I think we can handle that. The cows get real ornery in bad weather. It's more work, but I'll show you how to deal with them. I'm gonna save my boys for the herd. I don't want to deal. It's gonna be hard shouting over this storm. Like, while I recognize that, like, herding cattle in real life is probably a real pain in the ass, and the game does a good job of making you feel like it's a pain in the ass. Drive them over to the pasture by the old oak tree. We'll merge them with the other herd there. Like, Come on. this is so excruciating. Move, move! I haven't seen a storm like this for a while. We need to be quick. The storm's getting worse. What are you waiting yeah. for? What am I waiting for? I'm trying to herd your damn cattle. Move, Bonnie. Come on. Let's go. I also don't like how they give you a counter. It's like, how many cattle have you lost? Move it. First or one of them get here at this point. Where are you going? Let's go. Get back with your cattle. Let's go. I also feel like Bonnie should either be driving the cattle or getting the strings, not just like riding along and like we do both. Like teamwork, Bonnie. I think that's the first time I've ever done that, right? Didn't lose all the cattle, right? Didn't lose a number of cattle. Ah, that was close. Now let's round up those stragglers and get out of here. Whoa there. I was trying to round up the stragglers when that guy called and back. Move, move. Can you do this by myself? The real skin is done. We have to get them all rounded up. Bonnie, I swear to God. All right. All right, 21 of 21. Let's go! Where? 
how did one get lost? Unless one of them just made it in all the way and it didn't count it. You saved the herd back there. You might make a decent rancher one day. Thank you, Mr. Farmer. Cow turd at 21. I got them all. Honor 300. See, so yeah, this game also has a honor and fame system. I referenced the fame system a moment ago. Where? Time is it? I don't think it's midnight, so I think it's earlier than that. But. There's also many games like horseshoes and things like that. Five Finger Filet. We'll explore those a little bit later on, but. Grab some ammo and whatnot. And I am out of Bonnie missions. There are no more Bonnie missions. All right, let's go do one more Marshall. And then we'll, uh, and we'll see where that puts us time-wise. So by the way, if you want to, uh, want to make travel a little easier, you can do this where you can set a waypoint and you'll have a red line on the map to follow. So by the way, there... Ooh, so here's two things about the, uh, game. We'll see how I do on this one. You a tough guy, mister? I hope so. We gonna have a showdown. Sorry, mister. Don't do that again. We can duel. You should keep your opinion. People will shout you to duels. And you can duel them. Now, I am not great at the duel mechanic. So we'll see how it goes for me. You've accepted a duel. Press A to skip the tutorial. I'm not going to do that. Alright, to draw your gun, use left trigger. Which, by the way, that is the most honorable and, uh... Like... That is the most honorable and, like, tricky way to do that, is to shoot them in the hand and disarm them. Because you don't have to kill somebody when you duel them. And you actually wind up getting a little bit more honor and uh, fame for it. Which, honor does things like, makes, makes uh, stuff in the stores cost a little less. Stuff like that. But we have a bounty. Charlie Mars, or Mash, part of the Bower Twin Gang, property destruction, railroad straw, 40 alive and 20 dead. So, for the bounties, there's almost always two ways you can do it. You can either, you know, kill the bounty, or you can, or you can let the bounty live. And by let the bounty live, I mean bring them in alive. So I'm going to set my waypoint for here. Okay, we got to work on that horse. But we'll just follow that red line until we get there. And to... If you're going to capture the bounty of life, the easiest way to do it is with your lasso. And granted, you can, like, pull out your gun and shoot the gun out of their hand to make them a little easier to lasso. Most of them will try to run. So that's always a problem. And they're almost always surrounded by gang members. 
pretty much all of them are going to be affiliated with a gang. So you'll have to, like, you know, deal with the gang members. Makes sense. But we'll see how this bounty goes. Should be fine. I can't wreck it now. I can't wreck it all anymore. You are nearing the bounty target. Yeah! Come on, come on! And generally speaking, like, they'll have a bunch of people with them. That could have gone better, but it could have gone a lot worse. And if you do it right and shoot them all reasonably close to each other to loot their bodies, you don't have to go far. Because now that we have him hog tied, like his uh, co conspirators, if, if you will, will start looking for. I better run fast when I get free here. Right. I think it's like you have to start picking them up. Keep quiet. Pick them on horse and we can start shooting at his friends. Get on your horse, John. Come on. Christ, come on. I'll show little dumb quality of life feature I missed from the second one is being able to uh, hold start to bring up your map like immediately. Like that does make it a world easier. Come on, easy up there. But we just gotta ride him back. And there'll be a couple guys. Even if you kill the bounty, there'll be guys coming looking for him. Which I guess they just you know, don't want to collect the body or don't know he's dead yet. But, which I guess don't know he's dead yet makes perfect sense. But you'll, you know, have adversaries. And the closer you get to a town, they'll go off and stop, you know, stop chasing you. Come on! Like they'll Damn you! Come out Let me go! Go! Come on! Like they're not hard to deal with. Sometimes they have more guys. Like usually, when you get later in the game, they start sending like four or five guys at a time. But it's never too difficult. The game does a fairly good job at like. Much appreciated. Well, we made a couple bucks.
So these are uh, Benzino's. Like they'll randomly be dragging them dude through town or pulling some other, you know, missions. Like they were dragging that dude behind their horse. That's a good way to uh, make a couple extra bucks. And as you can see, like, throwing it in dead eye and just kind of headshotting everybody is a valid option. That gave me a little bit of, like, honor and fame. Like, money isn't super important in this game. Like, and if, if it was more interesting to watch, I would show how I normally go about taking an hour or two and making sure I never have to worry about money again in this game. Because it's fairly easy. It's right up this way and just spend like a day or two in game shooting every animal you can see. And scanning them and collecting their you know, pelts and what and uh, feathers and what. Spend a good amount of time out hunting, and you end up with like a ton of money in this game. So, usually, you can very easily and real early in the game make it to where money doesn't matter. And here's one of my favorite things in this game oh my god! Ooh, it's, op it's immediately available. been waiting for you my favorite stranger hello John John Marston do I know you I hope so I seem to know you I'm pretty good at remembering faces are you do you remember Hattie McCourt's face who she was a girl Dutch Vanderlyn shot in the head on that raid on the ferry a few years back same one you got shot on Pretty girl, until her eye was hanging out by a thread of tendon and her brain was plastered over a wall. Not really. Then why would you remember me, friend? You've forgotten far more important people than me. What's your game, friend? I don't have a game, John. Listen, sometimes I just wish I'd known more about life. I wish I'd had better guidance. A friend of mine was drunk as a skunk in the saloon on Thieves' Landing. I think he's gonna be unfaithful to his dear wife. Why don't you head over there and see if you can advise him how best to proceed? What do you think I am? I know what you are, John. Just if you've got the time, friend. So, well, this is what I asked. This is the strange man. He is, um. Come on. Well, they're not really sure. No one's really sure. Some people think he's the devil. Some people think he's the Grim Reaper. Some people think he's, uh. He's a demon. He's yeah. just the strange man. And these are stranger missions. Basically, these will be small little mini missions that are done at your own pace. For, you know. Come on now, Hold for I screwed that one up. Of course, uh, Red Dead 2. I'll have to come back later to, uh, to that one. I'm fairly certain that Stranger Missions actually glitched, so... Yeah. But yeah, there's just like a little ambient mission set. Damn, I ain't giving you a damn 
And sometimes that happens. So I died. There isn't really a big penalty for death. I think they take a little bit of your money and start you elsewhere. But those are... Oh, yeah, no, I didn't even really take any of my Yo. money. Hello. Yeah. But those are just, like, the ambient, like, story thing. Or not story things, uh, like, ambient radiant missions. And, like, events. They just happen out in the world. It did remove all of my dead eye core, though. Or dead eye uh, bar. New weaponry at the, at the gunsmith. So... You'll come across things where it's like somebody asking for help or somebody being robbed. And you can either ignore it and ride right on by or, you know, do something about it. I tend to do something about it because it's usually worth it. Like a couple bucks, some ammo, resources, that kind of thing. Sometimes it happens quickly enough where, like, you're kind of screwed. Like... I forgot that, like, the game doesn't slow down like it does in 2 when you go into your weapon wheel. Which is interesting to me because this has a more complex weapon wheel. But let's talk to this man now that he's in all aggro. Excuse me, friend. Mind if I rest up at your camp a spell? That'd be my pleasure. But these are strange missions. There's That's little side that missions might. that you can do at your leisure. Thank you, mister. Say, what's that stick you got there? Oh, y'all ain't never seen a dowsing rod before, mister? <laughs> never seen a man summon the water up from the bare earth, uh, mister? Most of them are, uh, Marston. weird or, ah. you know, creepy. No, can't say I have. Hmm. It's water you're looking for. What's wrong with that lake over there? Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with Lake Don Julio. Nothing wrong with it, but we lack the fancy irrigation equipment you folks have back east. So, man needs a wellspring Back on his proper side Slightly uh, further here. north. Makes Maybe. sense. Yeah. Why, you know, just last week, that I was over at Old east. Pleasant's house. Now, I think I may have found something, but... Old Coot that owns the place threatened to call the law down on me, so... People act funny around strange men with sticks. They sure do. Damn fools. Bet you he don't even know how much water's running underneath his proper top. Proper time. You tell him? <laughs> you know what? You ain't that stupid, mister. And I can tell. This is a fairly what, easy Why don't you one. go get the old man to sell us his proper top for a small pittance? Then I can find the source of the water, build us a proper wellspring. Maybe I will. Well, all right then. And these are all <laughs> things you don't have to do. Like, there's usually a reward or, like, you know, an interesting story behind it. But they're not, like, you need yeah. to do them. Get yourself down here a while. Now, these are the other kinds of camps that you'll encounter in the world. Where... My granddaddy used to tell me about how they built them railroads back in the day. These will often give you just like little Chinese hints about things Irish in the world. They for labor. Like things you oh, can find. They work them hard. Bunch of thieving drunkards. Damn near sent the whole territory into chaos. Thank the Lord for strong lawmen. Sometimes the power of the army. This whole place is very different. Shut your lip. A few more stories like that, and the time passes like nothing. I do have camera control. But yeah, like, sometimes these will tell you things like, I know oh, I hear there's a, tra a treasure, you know, hidden Let's in, go. you know, gap tooth, gap, gap tooth bridge. Or ridge. Like, and then other times it's just like, a whole bunch of nothing. You know. Let's go. But somebody lets you sit there, can't be sit there for a minute and listen to the story. It's nice, it makes the world feel more lifted. Yeah.
but like there's a bunch out here to do and see. This is a stranger mission I'm interested in. Oh, they took my boy. This is one of my favorites. My boy. Who did? He's missing. He's only a youngster. My boy is missing. Her boy's missing. Where? Who took him? Them people in the hills. Them hills near Hanging Rock. They took it. The hills near Hanging Rock. Sounds can like a police, police force place. help you. Oh, they can't even help themselves. Please, sir. My son I is missing. I need your help. They cannot help themselves. If I find Attack him, I'll bring him, him back to you. Yeah, we have uh, another stranger missing. There's another bounty up here. We're gonna hit the gunsmith real quick. See if there's anything worthwhile we can purse. We are a little under. Generally speaking, there's a guy behind the counter. But. I guess he's on break or some shit. Anything you need, just holler. There you are. Hey, mister. We got the second amendment. Bait operations, you think it would? The bandolier lets you hold more ammo, volcanic pistol, double barrel. Oh, that's fairly straightforward. Um I don't have anything to sell, and I, there isn't anything too uh titillating in there. I think we'll stick with the cattlemen for a minute. But let's go do that bounty that's hanging up. But in Armadillo, the bounties are hung here. Oh, here's another radiant mission thing that'll happen. Get off, you son of a bitch. Where that is a guy attacking a prostitute. I suppose not all men are bad. I won't forget what you did here. I couldn't just so yeah, he was gonna, and let him kill you. He was gonna, you know, stab her. So we stop got anything interesting, friend. With what might be the biggest knife ever. Um But yeah, things like that will just happen. Let's see now, we got, ooh, 160 alive. Mo Van Bar. Mercer Station. I think we can do that. Let's see, where's Mercer Station? Oh, and these purple dots are how you'll know the, uh, for the stranger missions. Like, there's water and honesty, the one where I have to go talk to a dude about the water rights to his house. American Appetites, where I have to go look for that boy. And then, I Know You, which is, you know, the devil's, or the strange man's, uh, mission. But where the fuck's my horse coming from? Timbuktu? Come. That horse is just waiting there for somebody. And most, for the most part, you'll get, like, weapons and different upgrades and things like that throughout the course of doing it. So you don't feel like you need to like, spend all your money right away. Look at the little like sun rays through the uh, through the cactus and all. Look at that real pretty skybox. I'm not sure how well it's coming up on the uh, stream with the compression and whatnot, but ooh, it looks good.
Ooh. I found a container. Can't tell if there's one dude left or two. Well, the gravity of the situation for it, dude. Huh? <laughs> That's all I'm dealt with. I thought this one was gonna be harder. Let's see what you got. And like I said, just take a moment and it's always worth it. You know, between the money and the uh, ammo, and to pick up ammo, you just have to run over a uh, gun or something to get that. Ah, here comes his boats. By the way, it's, you know, You're making a big mistake, friend. late 2000s, or, you know, 2010s video game rules, so yeah. your health is dictated by the amount of red jam on your screen. Not super clean on that. It is what it is. Some kind of mutually beneficial agreement, sir. There we go. Drop this bounty off. I know off. Good dirt. Thank you. Made a hundred and sixty dollars. So yeah, you can fairly easily make a decent amount of money in this game. I thought that was going to be an event of some sort. You have an announcement? Like, he just stood up on his piano. But, you can also curse this and rent rooms. So now, whenever I'm in Armadillo, I have a place to save. And I think that'll about bring us to the end here. I want to thank everyone who came in, everyone who hung out, and everyone who, uh, who stopped by. 
All my lurkers, you're wonderful. I appreciate the hell out of you. Um, this was uh, not my normal day. I missed yesterday because of a personal matter I had to attend to. But we'll be back again tomorrow, if all goes well, with more Red Dead 2. I'm also upping the uh, amount of time I'm doing from an hour a stream to two for Red Dead. Because this is a long game. This is a fairly long game, and, you know. But, thank you all for coming in. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate every last one of you. Once again, you can follow me at any one of these social medias down here. But, maybe you don't like typing. Maybe you don't like typing. Maybe you don't want to have to go into Instagram or Twitter or uh, TikTok and type in for it. Well, if you look in the chat right now or in the description below or in the uh, my about page, you'll find a link tree link that'll give you everything. The Discord, the social medias, all of it. Anywhere you can find me. But until tomorrow, it has been fun. I hope y'all liked my little cowboy cosplay. And I will see you all later. Have a good night.